14th Week Collocations and Casual Dialogue I heard you're going to negotiate with the striking workers directly. Isn't that risky? Perhaps, but I believe in facing challenges head-on. Face challenges head-on? What does that mean? It means to deal with the challenges directly, without avoiding them. Wow, aren't you out of your mind? That sounds intense. Out of my mind? No, I just believe it's the best way to handle the situation. I admire your courage. Just remember to stay calm and collected. Definitely. Speaking of which, do you have the time? I need to be there by 10 a.m. What time is it? Let's see. It's just a quarter past nine. You've got plenty of time. Good. It should be a short meeting, no more than an hour. It is supposed to be a short meeting, but these things can run longer. True, but I have another appointment at noon. By the way, did you hear about the incident in the lobby? No, what happened? The CEO held the door for someone, and the person didn't say thank you. He was like, where's your manners? Where's your manners? That's something my grandmother would say. Right? It's funny to hear that coming from the CEO. Manners are important, though. It's nice to acknowledge someone's kindness. Absolutely. Speaking of kindness, I picked up that book you lent me. Thank you. Did you remember to bring it today? Yes, it's in my bag. I thought you might be out of your mind with worry about it. Not at all, but I appreciate you returning it. I have a friend who wants to borrow it next. It was a great read. Thanks for sharing it with me. My pleasure. Do you have the time to grab a coffee before your meeting? What time is it now? Hmm. I think I can spare a few minutes. It should be a nice break. It is supposed to be good weather for a walk, too. Let's face the caffeine need head on, then. That's the spirit. Let's go. After you, Emma. And I won't forget my manners this time. Ha! Huh, that's more like it. Thanks, Daniel.